y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel i have a review for a tv show i just binge watched right now a teacher i was going on to hulu to watch my other regular shows and that one was like the front thing so i was like okay don't know what this is and the actor i've seen him in other movies and i think tv shows possibly so i was like okay i don't know i'm bored it's a random weekday so let me just start it and they're all relatively short episodes they posted three episodes and then i think there's two or three more that they're gonna post in a couple weeks and yeah that, that's kind of like my main reaction of the whole thing each episode is about 25 minutes so it's a quick watch if you're interested i saw a lot of mixed reviews on twitter about like no i'm not gonna watch because the type the type of show it is no i'm not gonna watch it because this is very problematic yeah, I wasn't going to due to that, but I was like, hey, I just need something to have in the background while I'm like doing my day-to-day -day stuff. Let me just watch this. And it gave me, what's that show called? Pretty Little Liar vibes. I'm trying to think of other shows that have that kind of similar synopsis in it. Because yeah, it's literally a teacher, student situation, but it's, it's a female teacher and male student. I was kind of curious, I guess, to see if it was her who pursued him or him who pursued her. In the very beginning it kind of just started out very very weird um showed her as a normal teacher she was new to the school um claire that's her name and like her introductions to the school that she's an english teacher i don't really know subject that really matters she's an english teacher and the student was in one of her classes time goes on and eric eric is a senior that's like the whole like focus he's he's not old enough it's, it's, it's a student teacher thing but still he's a senior so he's older but not really um, a lot of weird vibes from not just him, but the teacher as well. She, they focused on her stealing a lipstick or something from her store. And it's like, okay, she had like a bad vibe to her. She's a teacher. She had money to pay for lipstick, whatever. It also shows that she has some like marital problems with her husband, which probably shows that it was easy for her to make the jump towards the student because she had some problems going on. So maybe put her problems onto him or focus on that even though it's still problematic teachers and students should never have any sort of relationships but super weird but yeah she had that little thing going on the husband was never home he was on trips and he left her alone she i think completed her first week or first day as a teacher and he's like sorry i'm on a trip so again these are just little things i'm like okay she's drifting away from him due to this they're also having fertility issues at least she is so again a reason for him to be distant a reason for her to be doing other things you know just like forgetting about the marriage and then Eric, the main kid, the student, his friends are weird. Um, one of them's talking about having like a relationship with a 14 year old. The guy has to be at least 17 or 18. So they're having an underage, underage situation and an underage and a teacher thing like this show is kind of essentially encouraging some weird stuff, but I don't know. Uh, also at the end of each episode, there's like a disclaimer, like if you need help or you need someone to talk to. So like you're putting these disclaimers knowing that this again is problematic but you're still continuing to make the show it's just like a weird like okay so she's his teacher I, there wasn't really much um conversation between the two of them he works at a diner so that's like kind of how they meet outside of class and again the weird friend who is fascinated with dating a 14 year old even though he's probably 17 or 18 like oh my god isn't that your teacher because he saw her at pe or something or like when they were training and it's like oh let's go talk to her I would never go up to my teacher or my friend's teacher and sit with them at a restaurant. That's just weird. Cause that's what happens. Like, oh, let's sit with her. And then I'm like, and they're high by the way, but that means nothing, but they're, they sit with her and they're talking again. I just can't even imagine like, oh my God, it's my guy teacher. I'm gonna go sit, like, that's just weird. But again, this is TV. So they go and sit with her. And I think they had to like leave immediately, at least his friends. This is like the time of them alone. And he's like, oh, so talking to her like venting about his issues with like the food because like now he has food he has to pay for from his friends she offers to pay for it she's also like hey you want to split this there's no way a teacher would want to split a sandwich with your like it's just and it was like little minor things maybe but i'm like what is this and then um she also drops him off at home because his friends are like hey do you need a ride he's like no even though the like the first episode he's like can you give me a ride we didn't have a car so how else was he planning on going home I don't understand there's a lot of weird like loopholes in it that i'm like i don't understand what's going on and whatever so she drops him off and i think i don't remember if it was in the car or later on he asked her if he, she could be his tutor because he's trying to get into the school 
and he went to that she went to that school so maybe there's that connection for them and like oh my god you went to the university that I want to go to I need to get my SAT scores up blah 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 so they start this whole tutoring relationship could be a uh, normal could be platonic could be not frowned upon until the teacher lies to her husband Claire she lies to her husband saying hey I want to meet up with my teacher friend but she was tutoring him at the diner so it's like you're already feeling guilty about it which is why you lied that you were going to go meet up with a friend when you were actually tutoring someone that just already shows that there's some issues that you have some guilt about it tutors him and they're sitting like arm to arm and it's like it was just super weird I'm like I don't understand again it's a tv show um I'm not sure exactly in order of sequence but I do know that that happens and if it was not the same episode the next episode Eric goes to a party high school senior whatever he gets toasted drunk everyone else is high drunk he's doing stuff and eventually the police show up um they start giving everyone citations because they're underage and then this is, I don't even think I thought of this before it happened. He was getting his citation written down and he noticed the badge and the last, the last name. It's the same last name as his teacher, which coincidence, the police officer's the teacher's brother. So he's like, hey, can you give me a, a break? I know your sister, please, can you pick me up? That should have already been weird. There's no way that you'd be like, why is my sibling who's your teacher picking in your car? Like, that's not a reason not to give a ticket, but either way, the police officer calls his sister. He's like, hey, um, this kid wants you to pick him up because like, he has family issues. He didn't say it like that, but like, apparently that's like the reason why he didn't want to call his mom because his dad's not in the picture. Um, can you pick him up and I won't give him a ticket? Like she begs him, like, don't give, like, let him off. I'm like, what is this? It was just super weird. And I think after that moment when she act comes and picks him up, and dropped him off he sent her a friend request on instagram where he like requests her on instagram the eric to claire and i'm like again why would you request your teacher on instagram and it's just so weird it's on private and everyone's gonna know you follow her because like it looks like an outdated instagram version like an older version so i'm sure again you can go in his following you'll see he's following the teacher um or like it might notify them because you know like, i used to do that on the timeline when i used to show you like oh they just followed somebody so i don't know why he did that as time goes on claire takes eric to her alma mater because that's where he wants to go to school and they're walking around dangerous he bumps into a friend of his and his friend's like hey come to a party and claire is like yeah let's go to the party and like you guys are just this just doesn't make sense i'm not gonna i don't know uh the whole thing's problematic i don't this just even sounds bad for me to say this but i'm like this isn't, that's not even the right way to make it a secret. Why would you go to a party where you know someone and obviously this is your teacher and it's underage and it's like he's again in high school. So it's just, oh, it was messy. It was just like, what? And I think at that point they like had an almost kiss. And again, in daylight at a party at a college where he knows someone and it's probably, it looks like a small town. It gives me small town feels the setting. And um, they kind of were like awkward after that. And I think he texted her like, have a good day or something or I had a good time with you and she like ignores it she deletes the message again which shows that there's guilt there's just guilt from the very beginning it's just very weird that it prolonged as long as it did and she deletes the message and then again it shows her fertility issues with her husband which again is like a hmm the, rela the relationship's not as strong as it is gives her a reason to leave gives her a reason to cheat or gives her a reason to lean towards Eric the kid and I'm like okay that's just that um and I think the next day uh Eric just kind of being giddy about like her and smiling his friends are like what's going on also like why didn't you get a ticket like I sketch and it's like yeah why didn't you get a ticket and everybody else did you were not the I mean again they, there's no way you can put two and two together yet because there's no like signs yet no one's like seen them together and everything but it's just like yeah there's a lot of red flags why didn't he get a ticket everyone else did um whatever and uh I think I forgot what was the defining moment oh and then the defining moment was when she was at home, Claire, when she finally accepted his friend request on Instagram. And at that point, that's when he's like, okay, I'm in. Because he was like smiling at his phone. That's when they noticed that. He tried pissing her in her classroom. I, I think they actually did. And then she did like, oh my God, no. And I, it seemed like the door was still open. It was just very like, this is so cringe. Um, she told him to get out. He freaked out. She freaked out. She's like, this can never happen again. She vowed to like never tutor him again he begged her because like money issues and she's like you could almost make me lose my job so it was him who took like that first leap and like kissed her and like made that first move although she still was again picking him up and bailing him out of trouble and taking him to her college and going to a party with him so she's kind of like 
I don't want to put I don't know who to put the blame on but she wasn't making it not really happen she was kind of almost allowing oh god it sounds so bad I don't really know the right words to use but that's again it's a weird show um so yeah she's like I'm not gonna tutor you anymore he's like please I need it but she's like okay fine like I will and then I think he hangs out with his friends the next episode next scene and like she's texting him like hey I'm here to tutor you like where are you at and um he's ignoring her and that's when his friend that saw him from the party is like, hey, where's that girl you're talking about? And the friend who is trying to talk to this 14 year old who also is his friend's younger sister, is like, oh my God, I didn't know you were talking to anyone. He has to lie about it. Cause again, it's the teacher. So he's like, oh yeah, it's just this other girl. I'm like, use his fake name, luckily. Cause I'm glad he didn't use Claire and that would have been how it comes out. I don't know when, how it will or when it will, but he's like, oh, her name's Stephanie or something. like. I'm kind of behind, he was just being a guy and like not responding to the message. Like again, he just, it's just so bad, it's so bad. But basically he ignores her and basically ghosts her because she's at the diner waiting for him after she said she didn't want to tutor him, after he begged her to continue tutoring him. Now she's there and now he's ignoring her messages. I'm like, this is a typical boy move, whatever. And um, he goes her and they all go to homecoming. The guys are all there with their dates, dancing, and Claire is there with her teacher friend they're drunk they drank from a flask or they drank at least I don't know if they're drunk and the teacher sees him with the girl and I think I forgot how they were confronted but they confront each other and she's like why did you ghost me like why did you not show up and he gives like a lie and um she's like stop lying to me like you saw my message like okay well I just can't deny how I feel about you blah blah, blah. I just can't be around you because it's just so I'm like This is where the show's going. It's only been three episodes. And uh, so yeah, he admits that he likes her or is attracted to her. And then she's like, all right, like, let's just separate. Like we can't even talk about this. He goes to the dance. This is what confuses me. Cause this is episode three, the last episode that's uploaded on Hulu. They go back to the dance floor. She's staring at him. He sees her staring. She picks her bag and leaves. And as she leaves, he follows her. She gets in her car and he gets in her car and they drive off. I'm like, I had to rewind it to see if there was like her doing this or like there was just no like I mean it was fine because obviously they drove off together so like she kind of wanted that to happen but I didn't see like the indicator like hey follow me it was super weird um and yeah they hooked up I guess and that was the end of the episode um super weird will I finish the series season I don't know um the trailer has like cuts on his face so eventually people are gonna find out I don't know if it's the husband or who or how this gets out how to get in trouble but this is a lot um, this is also probably loosely based off true events because there's a lot of teacher student situations have happened and been publicized and everything. So there's that. There's just also so many teacher student movies, TV shows. I'm surprised they're making another rendition of it and people are entertaining it. Like I just did because it was on my homepage, but it's just interesting because again, it's over and over at some point, like when is it seen as bad or why are we allowing this because it's almost it's not encouraging it because again at the end there's those disclaimers but it's still super weird but that was my review let me know if you guys watched the show or what you thought of it but talk to y'all later bye